not easy. Two full grown men inside of a fish tank. Celebration tonight at Butter. Brody Jenner's gonna be there. By Ling, that little short bitch from Jersey Shore. Yeah. <laughs> and most of you are on the list. Yeah. You're the best. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. Joe again here from Their World Aquatics, and we are at Gullet Creations, and we're going to touch down on what it takes to polish a gullet. You know, I'm just a regular guy who grew up with the posters of these guys on my walls, and now I'm one of them. That's right. All right, so I hope you guys watched the two parts that we just released about a week ago, and that was repairing the 720 and how to kind of build acrylic aquariums and using all the different glues that are out there and what applications that you would use them for. But now that we have done the repairs on the 720, which we talked about in the last video, because there was a couple items there that were in question. We went ahead and installed a corner overflow box there on the right. And we also went ahead and capped off what used to be the center island overflow box. We're no longer using that because that, for me, that's just a tough one when it comes to aquascaping. Now that all those repairs have been done, this particular 720 has a lot of scratches. So let's go ahead and talk about that with Dave from Acrylic Creations. We're gonna do what? See, normally we have these mounted in the shop up against, let me show you, like we have these mounted like this, um, screwed to something. So okay. That way you can put, apply more pressure and really, really take it off like this. Okay. Okay, but in this case I have to do it by hand because we're outside. <laughs> can eat off of that. <laughs> you well, go, you go first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was totally like impregnated. It was full of yeah, all the yeah. novice. Yeah. The, the and that also over. can cause slight scratches if you if you leave it on there and keep going and going and going. We take it off every time it gets gummy. We'll okay. start over like. Every what do you think every 15 20 minutes? It depends Maybe. on how much buffing you're doing really. Okay. Yeah. You'll know just by looking at it. Yeah, that didn't take long. Right. Just one minute of a wire brush and you're done. Man, yeah. it's, it's actually pretty hot. You can see we got a blue tarp right here. Covering up the end of the tank because I tell you what, I had a black shirt on. Oh, good! But then again, it probably didn't matter what color shirt I had on because, man, the inside of this tank was rocking. All right, so one of the first problems is we've got a lot of algae right here in this front panel. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but the first thing we're probably going to do is we're going to use some white vinegar. See if that'll pull it off. And then if not, 800 grit sandpaper, we noticed, was really knocking it off. All right, you're up. Tell us what you're doing, boss. Okay, we're going to put some white vinegar, white vinegar on, on the air. We have to let it soak. Why white vinegar? Well, because it, it'll take off the, the algae. It'll take most of it off. Because algae will sometimes even pit the acrylic if you leave it on long enough. How long do we need to let that set up there? Uh, just like a few minutes or five minutes at the most. I really want to soak it. Don't be afraid to use it. It's not going to hurt the fish. Or the tank was pretty bad. I, yeah, going from the original video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I scrubbed it with the hose and a algae brush, algae pad, but that only got so far. And you're saying that, as crazy as it sounds, acrylic does not scratch acrylic. Right. Really coming on. See? And we're going to buff it anyway. 
even if it, it may leave micro scratches in it, but we'll get them out. That's what I'm here for. That's right. right. You can see it pulling it off. Yeah. So it's just a slow, tedious job. A lot of elbow yeah. grease. Yeah. This tank was pretty bad. I mean, you really gotta you gotta get in at least once a week and clean your tank. Let it set up for six months to a year. Yeah. You're gonna cause for problems. <laughs> and so when we first got this tank, looking through the front panel, you could not <laughs> even see the center island overflow, <laughs> which was less than 12 inches away. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it is. So um, that's it right there. We're gonna to attempt to bring this tank back to life. So a lot of it came off, I see. Yeah. I'm not right now. See, I'm not really pressing real hard either. The nice thing about cutting an angle on on there. And it's like a like a knife. Okay, that looks good. That's All right, so what's the story now? Now You're... we've got eight hundred grit sandpaper on the sander. Okay. And then I'm going to go over this whole thing lightly. I'm not going to press hard and just take off the, the rest of this algae here. Okay, now no water because that's been kind of another right. debate where yeah. people say you got to keep the acrylic wet. Yeah, no, we, we don't use it. Okay. We don't use the water until last. Okay. Dust off of it. That's all. Yeah, because then you're just you're just grinding the dust in. Okay. Now what I'm looking for is a nice even pattern with the sander, and you know there's no swirls that might be going this way or that way. Okay. Now if you to zoom on a close up, I mean there are there are some little spots that would be another process. You'd have to go through the whole process again mm -hmm. because we can't be digging at these. You have to just take off, like, say, 80, it looks like it took off 80, 90 percent of it, and then, then we have to go back and do it all over again okay. to get the, re the remaining 10 percent. How's it looking right now? It looks good. It looks good. Yeah, I don't see no swirls anywhere. I've done this once before, you know. <laughs> yeah. 30, 30 40,000 times? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we switch over to 2,000. You have that down there? You need to no, I need Micro swirls in it or nothing, you know. What it's an orbital oscillating orbital sander. It actually turns this way and it turn. It goes like this. It's okay. So that's why you sometimes will see them. But you can see that I wasn't pressing very hard. No, not at all. Let the sander do the work. Okay. Now we go to oh, watch that white vinegar. Don't knock that over. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, now we go to, I'm going to go ahead and see, put some water on it. Water should be right in your back to the left corner. Yeah, it is. So, why are you getting this wet now? We're wetting it down. Now is what, you know, you hear people say about sanding it. Wet sanding it. Okay. But we only do it on the 2000 part of the process. Okay. It just seems to work for us, you know. All right, so you're going back, so you started at 800, then you went to 2000. Okay, now we're still on 2000, we're not going backwards. Gotcha. But I'm gonna do the same thing now. You'll notice, I don't know if you can tell, but 
I have this sander on one. It's not going at this fastest RPM. It just nice and slow. Okay. It, it, well, I'm actually glad you brought that up. Yeah. Because uh, you know, if you only have a sander that is only one speed, there's nothing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. That one had three. That that has six. And one was the slowest. One through six. Okay. And one. So well, one was the slowest. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Don't want it to be the other way. Right. <laughs> All right, so you started off with the white vinegar, then you did 800, then you did 2,000, right. then you wet it down, obviously you're wiping it down between each yeah. layer. Then, then 2,000 wet. 2,000 wet, now you wipe okay. it down again. Now, last step is I actually take a piece of, I have it here somewhere, two thousand. here it is. 2000 old sandpaper it's something we've used already okay and I'll, it's almost like kind of going to 4000 in a way because this is used okay you know and then do the same thing wet it and do the same thing and that's the final process before buffing okay so actually, three thousand or four thousand. Yeah, you could just go three or four thousand, but we just don't do that. It's not in the union contract. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you also notice that with each time I'm sanding, you know, going a little bit beyond. That was the last, like say this was, the, this is where we started, right here, okay? And then I just kept going out a little further and the next sanding and then out a little further, you're kind of feathering. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so that's done, now we buy. Now here you're gonna use the Novus 2, is that what I saw? Yeah, that, right. I was pretty shocked at when you did this little section over here how clean it got yeah so this is well they saw this before yeah one thing you don't do is skimp with this stuff this does all the work just get it in there yeah just rub it in i can't stay on top of you 24 7. No, it's too clean. I mean, we go through gallons of it. <laughs> we do. Some people will wow. put just a little bit on and go, why isn't this working? They're free to get their hands dirty. They could probably use a sponge. Yeah. <laughs> Girly man. Right. You can take that out if you want. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have a lot of cream puffs in this world. Yeah. And Karen's. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, it is what it is, folks. Yeah. All right, so you got that on there, and now it's on to the... Now, this is an... We use an 8-inch... Buffing wheel. This is cotton, and it's uh, it's tied together. Now you can use the ones that aren't tied together. Sometimes they'll they'll flare out a little further. I mean, I like I like these better because then when they wear down to that point, it'll eventually cut that, and you'll just have steps. Oh, okay. See, and uh, we we've, we've ground these wheels down to about here, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> down to three inches, and then we throw it away and get another one. Out. What's the name of the thing? Is it gonna, I don't I don't know. I don't even remember where we get, get that from. I don't remember. I, we, can, we can see that later. Okay. So you were talking about earlier about okay, the direction. Now, now the directional, here's, this is important, because see how this is turning in that direction. So what it's going to do is if, if you were to sand in this direction, all you're doing is pushing the stuff ahead of it. It's not, it's not actually doing the buffing. If you start down here, I'll move it over. Yeah. Yep. See how it's going to pull the the buffing compound into the wheel. Yes. And that's very important because all you're doing is just spreading it around. If you go the opposite direction. Okay. Okay. So, and then and we're going to do it like watch the way I do row. And you'll notice too that I'm going slow. I'm not going fast.
now what's going on. Wheel in, in, in a directional pattern. Now what I'm going to do is I'm putting on a light coat. This time I'm putting on a light coat just to pretty much you know cover most of it really. It's not, it's now, earlier you, you were using Novus too. Now this is three. Now this is two. Still. You're, you're still on two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm just putting on a light coat now. And now I'm gonna go just non-directional. I'm just gonna clean it off, clean it off, clean it off, clean it off. Oh hell no! Okay. I right, clean the wheel again too. opposite direction and I just went around it just a little bit you know in, in zigzag patterns or whatever crazy aids and now we've got that totally cleaned up and the scratches you're seeing are actually on the front of the tag oh this looks a ton better <laughs> all right so yeah. now what's next up because you had the Novus 3 up here or well that's uh, I'm going to use the Novus 3 and see if I can get this off oh that's this. a whole different area yeah so that's just, pretty much it yeah that's so that it. area right there yeah yeah did you want this right way Wait, right and wipe it down? Well, no. No, that, the stuff you just did. Oh, I'll, I'll get to That's that. That's it, we're polished. Yep, we're done. Oh, yeah. yeah. But imagine how long it's going to take to do the whole tank. Yeah, I'll just come back in a couple weeks, I'll pick up the tank. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright guys, so there's a lot more polishing that's going to be required on this aquarium, but I think I'm going to do this back at my place. It's time to get oh, on the road and start heading west. But for the most part, we know now how to, to do it. We definitely appreciate uh, Dave showing us all his little tips on how to really kind of polish that acrylic up. So, uh, all right, that's going to be wrapping up for this video. We're going to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we're going to see you on the next video. Until then, we're out of here. Peace out, bitches.